Timu is ridiculously cheap. It makes Wish.com look expensive and Amazon look fraudulent. So I went and bought the most expensive tech I could find on the whole website. Am I going to be scammed out of hundreds Bruh. of dollars? Or will this stuff turn up? And even maybe bigger quality. Well, something's turned up, so I guess I've not been completely scammed. Oh. Yep. A 3D printer of Timu. But straight away there was an issue. All of the filament for the 3D printer is broken. This was the first item from my first ever order on Timu, and it's broken. So surely things can only get better. You, you'd hope, right? Look at how many pieces this is coming. I mean, this is part of the reason why all this stuff is so cheap. It, it just comes in so many pieces. I've got some super easy to read instructions here. 25 minutes it took to read through the Chinese instructions and assemble it. It was actually quite satisfying. We're on. This is actually really loud, slightly concerning. So I bought some new 3D filament to replace the broken one and got that connected to the printer. But would it actually print an object? I mean, just looking at this thing, I'm pretty confident to say it won't be able to. So I uploaded a 3D print model and set the printer running. Please work. So now I'm gonna leave this for a bit. It should start doing something, come on. So while the 3D printer's running, I'm gonna open some of these other parcels. The next product is this thing. The packaging on everything from Timu is as basic as possible. A sports watch. Honestly, the packaging on this is actually pretty good. I mean, there's there's bits of mud on the top, but I'll ignore that. Wow, I'm at, this is massive. But there's a feature on this watch that I've never seen on any watch. This Timu smartwatch comes with, get it out, integrated headphones. Genuinely, this, this is real. This is not fake. This must be, I've never seen this. I've just found something illegal on the Timu smartwatch. I just want to pause the video for a second to explain why I'm doing this. It's not just to find out whether you can buy high quality tech on the scammy website that is Timu. It's mine and my girlfriend's four year anniversary coming up this weekend and I haven't bought her anything. So I'm relying on one of these items being good enough that I can gift it her as my anniversary present. No pressure Timu. I was connecting the headphones to the smartwatch to get the music playing and that's when I realized that you can actually play music through the watch itself. After I figured this out, I tried playing some music on the smartwatch and realized that there was a load of songs already on it. The first one being called WUQU. So I played said song. Which turns out to be Diamonds by Rihanna. This watch is full of illegally downloaded music. <laughs> Oh, Timu. I then took the watch out for a test run. Integrated headphones. Oh my God. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> Unfortunately, the watch doesn't come with GPS, but it does track your steps and heart rate. So to access the main features on this watch, you need to connect your phone to it. But given that it's full of illegal music and came off a very dodgy website, that would be completely stupid. In half an hour, all of my data is going to be on the black market. Siri, find my iPhone and the weather app all didn't work. Was this just a front to steal all of the data off my phone? If you're listening to this, you're stealing my data. This is an invasion of privacy. Hello? Sorry, just ignore that. I was just testing out this watch. But to be fair, a lot of the features did actually work and worked pretty well. These headphones are touch sensitive. How crazy is that? Okay, it's time to rate the Timu smartwatch. Is it trash or treasure? How much did it cost? I know you're dying to know. The watch cost 88 pounds and like 89p or 111 US dollars. And given the integrated headphones and all the features, despite half of them not working, this thing is, is treasure. And after all that, it was time to see whether the world's cheapest 3D printer had actually printed something. That's actually turned out pretty, pretty good. So it's a, it's a rocket. I mean, it's really small and really basic, but the quality, the quality looks pretty good. Now that I knew that the 3D printer actually worked, I tried pushing it to its limits and that didn't work. I just kept having issues with 3D print files, but I couldn't be too mad because you'll not believe how much I paid for this printer. 91 pounds and 98 pence, which is like $116 which is ridiculously cheap. Do not worry, that's not the last you're gonna see of the 3D printer. This next item is just, it's in its prime right now. Just peak hype about this kind of item. 
Small glasses. This packaging has been through the ringer. Whoa, oh, it comes in a nice little case. Okay, very underwhelming. Yep, they're smart glasses. I'll just stick that back down because I'm gonna try and return all these items after I've done this video. Oh no, what the hell, that's not good. Oh geez. This is the first time putting on the Timu smart glasses. I'm just joking, I just see the exact same as before through some lenses which do nothing. So I bought these smart glasses thinking they'd actually be smart glasses and like you could see things on this little screen uh, but no, it's just this camera. It's kind of like just GoPro glasses and it's not even like these are functional glasses. Oh, do you hear that? Turn off. Hello. Hey guys, how we doing man? Welcome to the future. If this is what the future looks like, then I'm very concerned. I mean, just look at the photoshopping quality here between these two pairs of smart glasses listed on Timu. What do you think to the looks? <gasps> Not that bad. I took the smart glasses out for a run <laughs> and using them as a dash cam, which I think that's what they're designed for, they're really not too bad. I'll just go around. The smart glasses, trash or treasure. These glasses did cost £65, or around $80. Trash. None of the three bits of tech that I've opened so far of Timu have been good enough for an anniversary present. So that leaves me with three more. And hopefully one of these is going to be good enough. Otherwise, I'm not going to have a present. Let's go. Right, now this is probably the item I've been looking forward to the most. Nice, okay. Right, here is the drone. Woo! We are set up and good to go on the drone. That was super quick and easy. I just had to download an app and give another company uh, all my personal data. The translation on some of these instructions is not brilliant. When flying the drone outdoors, it needs to be sunny, windy, and sunny weather or preferred. I don't know why they want it to be windy, and I don't know why they need double sunshine. But today we don't even have single sunshine, and it's not very windy. Which means I'm gonna have to fly the drone inside. This can only end badly. The maiden flight wasn't very successful, but I did manage to capture one picture from it. Fantastic. Just before I started recording as well, um, I had a test flight and we had a minor crash and one of the propellers is slightly damaged, which is not gonna help me when I'm trying to send this back. This camera on top is an obstacle avoidance camera. So I should be able to try and crash this and it won't crash. So I'm gonna take it for a test flight and then try and crash it. Holy crap. This thing is actually flying. Wow, that footage is actually pretty good. Can you see me? Yes, you can see me. I completely <laughs> retract that statement. I'm watching the footage oh back God, now right. and the camera quality right. is not good. I'm sorry. Oh! How do I turn this off? I don't know. Okay, that actually worked and worked really well. This is a tree. And this is the cheap Timu drone, which apparently is uncrashable. And I'm about to try and crash it into this tree. Sorry, it's me again. I'm gonna leave it up to you to decide whether Timu's a scam website or not. But if you are thinking of signing up and want 30% off or even wanna just support me, I get $4 for every person that signs up using the link in the description. And that just helps reduce the massive losses I make making these videos. So, thank you. <laughs> Oh my day! Nah! Look! It's not crashing! It's not letting me crash it! The Timu drone is actually the most expensive item I bought for this video. It was £157 or $198, so $200. But this has been the best thing I've tested so far. Yep, it, it's treasure. But my girlfriend has zero reason to want a drone, meaning one of the next two items is going to be my anniversary present. It's a telescope. Why does it smell so bad? It's a telescope. I really don't know why it smells so bad. Look, uh, and this is broke. I've got one goal from this telescope and that's to see Saturn. Why you may ask? Because look, it's on my watch. I'm gonna just transition now to this exact same thing, but in real life. Wow. 
It really is breathtaking, but it wasn't taken through my telescope because my telescope was a disaster. The instructions were unclear. It came with parts which weren't even included in the instructions. My incompetence is probably partly to blame as well. So I didn't actually get the telescope working. I never actually saw a star through the telescope. And for the last two weeks since I opened the telescope, it's been cloudy every night. Like right now, for example, just pure clouds. This cost 121 quid, which is $152. This telescope has been an epic fail. Which leaves me with just this item. But I've saved the best till last, because in here is one of the brightest torches in the world. I'm so confident this is gonna be good. I'm not gonna open it now. I'm just gonna wrap it up and give it a Timu, you've got our anniversary in your hands. Okay, so uh, we've been together four years now. Obviously that's a really long time, so I thought I'd do something really special uh, for this day. <laughs> <laughs> What the f <laughs> It's a torch. For walking the dog. It's massive. Is it too big? <laughs> <laughs> it weighs a ton. <laughs> Is this a joke? No, no, I didn't think it'd be that big. I'm not even joking. I'm really sorry. I didn't think it'd be that big. Oh, that's such ridiculous. Honestly, I sometimes wonder if you even knew me. What? That... Why would you think I'd want a torch? For walking the dogs in I the dog. I've got a torch. I've got a torch. Why would I want a torch? Because you might want a better torch. <laughs> Please tell me it turns on. I think it needs charging up. I think it needs charging. <laughs> <laughs> Take it off. Take it away. And with Molly now being very upset, I went back, charged the torch up, and tried again. So let's try this again. First time with the torch. Oh my... D How ridiculous is this thing? This is actually a real life lightsaber. And just when I thought I'd seen it all... Nah, so it turns out I was not even on the brightest mode. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> I then posted a video of the torch on TikTok and it kind of went viral. But there was a comment on there from Zane who said, please put the Batman sign on the end of the lens and do it again. What? Zane, you are a genius. Let's do this. But first, I need to save my anniversary and arguably my relationship. Yep, I am going to 3D print Molly an anniversary present. So I followed the 3D printer instructions to toys123.com. But the website had nothing to do with 3D printing or 3D print models. I, d I don't know what it was about. So I had to 3D print a cat because it was the only pre-installed model that was. And that went down like a lead balloon because Molly is a dog person. <laughs> Thanks, Timu. You ruined our anniversary. I finally managed to get my own custom 3D print model printing. So whilst we wait for that to print, is this thing trash or treasure? After a bit of research, it turns out you actually have to assemble most 3D printers yourself. So we'll let it slide for that. But this 3D printer is marketed at beginners and the instructions are not very beginner friendly, especially considering the website it tells you to go to doesn't actually exist. Like I'm not claiming to be a 3D print expert here for $116, it seems pretty good. And clearly with a bit of time and effort, you can get it working. But I'm just looking from a beginner's point of view. And I think with a really good website, this could have been the best product I reviewed this video. But considering all of that, I'm rating the 3D printer treasure. This thing's actually turned out pretty good. It's now time to recreate the bat signal. But first, I need to actually rate the torch. Trash or treasure? The quality is so premium. It's all made of metal and just feels like a really high quality product. And it's just, the price is not so premium. This torch cost me 61 pounds or 77 US dollars. It's an absolute steal. And the torch is going in the dark. That is cool. This thing is treasure. Anyway, it's time to try and create the bat signal. Again, I'm gonna let you form your own opinions on Timu, but this torch <laughs> is sick <laughs> and I'm gonna keep it instead of sending it back like I am with all the what? other items. So yeah, but thank you for watching. Have a good day.